Qualifying for city elections begins next week, and today Mayor Cantrell released her first political ad as she runs for re-election. And with Mayor Cantrell enjoying high approval numbers, the question is being asked, does she face a real threat in seeking a second term? Tan Trung takes a closer look. Every single day came with deaths in our community. In this two-minute political ad, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell focuses heavily on her response to the COVID-19 pandemic. While many would like to forget the days of lockdown and stay-at-home orders, the video reminds us that wasn't too long ago. All public and private gatherings shall be canceled. Some of her policy and pandemic decisions drew sharp criticism and she addresses that in the ad. When we had to make tough calls, we were ahead of the state of Louisiana and we got blowback, but it was necessary. On social media, some called her Latoya the Destroyer for her approach to mask mandates and the reopening of the city's economy. In hindsight is one thing, you know, I think it could have been opened a month earlier or something. David Rubenstein wrote this opinion in The Advocate last September. The owner of Rubenstein's clothing store on Canal Street believed Cantrell was too slow in loosening restrictions on businesses. Rubenstein wrote, quote, it's time to fully reopen our city before it dies an economic death. Today, he's feeling differently. I think she did a really great job. I mean, everybody now is saying we're really amazing. We had the lowest in the state. We've done good. I think it was a little tight for business, um, but it worked. Throughout the pandemic, the mayor and her medical team always maintained that the stiff COVID restrictions actually preserved the economy because it protected the people who drive it. When I sat down with the mayor last spring, she stayed on that message. That is going to ensure residents and visitors alike that they're cared about, that we're taking every precaution necessary to keep them safe when they visit our city. With more foot and car traffic, Canal Street today looks dramatically different than it did last year. In a recent poll, Cantrell got 62% approval. And with the lack of a big name challenger so far, New Orleans' first female mayor may have a solid shot at a second term. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Qualifying for city and local races takes place next Wednesday through Friday. General elections will be held November 13th.